Now let's cover one rescuer, child CPR for the healthcare provider. Our scene is safe, our gloves are on, and our rescue mask with a one-way valve is available. I'm in a call out to the child. Are you all right? Can you hear me? They don't respond. I now place one hand on their forehead as I tap on their collarbone. Are you okay? Can you hear me? The child still does not respond. It's at this time that I activate EMS, call 911, or call a code. If I have a bystander, I'll send them to go call 911 and then have them come back with an AED if they have one available. After this, I need to assess this child for normal breathing and check their carotid pulse. I check it for no more than 10 seconds. The child is not breathing and they do not have a pulse. At this time, I'm gonna go right into CPR. Located between their breasts on the sternum, I'm now gonna start my 30 compressions, compressing the chest one third of the depth of their chest at a rate between 100 and 120 times per minute. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm gonna grab my rescue mask, head tilt, chin lift if it's not already there, and I'm gonna give two rescue breaths. First one goes in. Second one goes in, back onto the 30 compressions. And I'm gonna continue this 30 compressions to two rescue breaths until the patient revives, until the AED arrives, or until EMS or help comes in and can take over.